Okay, now, now can I get to get to my little product review? I mean, uh, not my product review because I gotta I gotta do all my homework on on everything on the product review prior to doing it. I have to make sure, excuse me, you know that I you know I got my words right. You know I'm a Virgo, I'm cantankerous about certain things. Now. This right here, as I show y'all these little contents in this little uh, picnic basket right here, these are just my personal things. It's not a product review, but I am. You guys saw the pictures about the product review, so you guys already know what it is, baby. I'm going to do that. My point is to get that done. Like, if I don't get that done today, because I've already done like four or five videos already, I'm like so backed up. I will get that done before the weekend. I must, I must, I must. So... Let's get to my product review. On the last video for my girl Nicole, I was telling you guys about my Galaxy 4. Um, Y'all, when I tell you, now I'm, I'm a throwback sidekick ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? When the sidekicks first came out. Y'all know I've been with T-Mobile since 2006. Seven. 2000, 2006. I've been with T-Mobile. Okay, and since I've been with T-Mobile, you know, the first things that came out hot was sidekicks back in the day. And they had to, you know, flip out and shit. And you, you know what I'm saying? You was doing the utmost with that motherfucker. Back then, um, and then we were studying things, but we just wasn't 3D. You know what I'm saying? The studying shit, we were studying them back then too. And so, um, but yeah, so to, to graduate up to a Galaxy 4, uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit different. Then my HTC that I had, um, but all in all, I like it. I really, really like it. It's big, it's uh, it's wide, but it's actually kind of thin. It's real thin and light. Um, I did get the white one. It's not heavy, but inside of this Defender case, family. Now, mind you, these Defender cases will hit your ass for fifty dollars, okay? But to be able to drop this motherfucker and to drop this bitch on the ground like that, no problem. It's called no problem. And your shit don't break. It won't do won't shit happen to this motherfucker. You can drop it on the ground, do all kinds of shit to it. It's not going to break. Only thing you cannot do with a defender case, and that is to wake the motherfucker up. Because of course it has this window back here for the camera and your shit will be uh null and void. Okay? But as far as dropping it, running something over it or whatever, with the case on it, it will not crack break. Fuck up, screen won't crack, nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, but I wanted all pink. They did not have all pink cases, but they did have this one with the pink and the purple. And so this is just what Senior got me. And so I love it. it. Um, he did give me a, um, because y'all know I'm all, I'm notorious for doing videos in the truck. And so he was like, T, you gonna fuck around and gonna run into the back some damn body. I'm like, what? If you don't knock it off, a lot of times I'm sitting up parked. Now, yes, there are times when I'm driving and, 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 and taping and things, but that's not an all-time occurrence. Either way, he was like, I need to, you know, be on some hands-free shit. So he bought me a... Um, uh, 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 a mounting kit for the inside of the truck. It has a little suction cup. I can put my thing right there and it rotates 360 degrees. I guess it'll fit any type of phone, I would assume. Okay, clamping arms open to four inch wide for smartphones, Blackberries, MP3s, GPS devices, and much more. Um, so, yeah, so I got that. But let's get into. Um, my body shop per, uh, purchases, shall we? Um, uh-oh, Bill Cunningham on. I done miss, I done miss, uh, Dr. Oz. Damn it, ain't that a bitch? I bet it was good, too. I done miss Dr. Oz today. Anyway. Okay, what is all this right here? Okay, some paperwork. Okay. Um, so I go to bath, uh, to the body shop family, and I bought all kinds of goodies. I just went ham, okay? Um, this right here is Spa Wisdom Japan, okay? All right, it's a bean and rice washing grains. And what you do is you can wet it and it turns into a paste and it's a body scrub. I love scrubs and salves and shit. You know what I'm saying? I just love being a woman. It's just something about being a woman, ain't it? You know, I mean, we can smell all kind of ways, preferably good smells. But, you know, I love being a woman. I love everything about it. And 
I wouldn't be nothing else. I could not be nothing else. Now, I do believe in reincarnation. That's why I know that I'm a bitch way back from back in the day down at the saloon parlors and shit. Yeah, Can Can Girl and all them back in that era with the uh, corsets and things. Yeah, I was one of them back in that day because I just love that era. I love Josephine Baker and all that. I love that whole get down. Billie Holiday and all that. The big old gardenia in the hair. And, I mean, I just love that era. And that, as you guys saw, I did some photos a while ago on um, Instagram and such or Facebook. My Instagram is One Sexy Tina. My, um, my Facebook is Tina Garland under my surname. So, anyway... But I was showing you guys, uh, you know, some, some, some pictures and things, you know? Of me with different little hairdos, different little units and things that I have bought. Okay, these are just um, my things for my trip. You know, I buy these little, um, for my luggage, you know, for my trip next week. So it's just a toothpaste and um, actually I got two toothpastes and I got a little deodorant um, to go into my little cases. Um, because I don't want my shit too heavy. My shit be heavy as it stands, you know. But, um, you know, I don't like to take, you know, the things from my bathroom to take away from my bathroom unless it's like my um, Clarisonic, you know, shit like that. Um, but, like, my toiletries and things, I just go in and just buy the little samples and then I just keep them in my, you know, in my bags and my luggage. And anyway, um, now what is this right here? This is coconut body milk. Yes, family. It's a watered-down lotion is what it is. But it's the coconut. I love the smell of coconut. The tropical shit is something about it, like pina colada and all that old type old shit. Yeah, that's my shit. Oh, Charlie, Charlie, ow! Y'all remember that shit when Shirley did that shit back on the... I'm telling my age, but I don't give a damn. Uh, what's happening is one of my most favorite shows, Bubbling Brown Sugar and all that, the Evans Kids. Excuse me, the Givens Kids. Don't fuck with it, okay? But yeah, Shirley was smelling this Charlie. Some of this guy gave us some Charlie at the, at the restaurant shit. And so she had smelled the Charlie and went ballistic like a motherfucker. So every time I smell something, it takes me back to that place. Okay, now, this... Oh, okay. I got a text or something. Okay, anyway. Okay, now this here is coconut hand cleansing gel. Okay, this here is shea butter body whip. Don't fuck with it. Okay, uh, let's go on. now. See shea butter and all that, y'all. I love salves. Oh my god, they shea butter scent at Bath and Body Works. I mean, excuse me, at the body shop is the shit. When I tell you this smells so goddamn good, family, I'm not campaigning for the company. I'm just saying, that, you know, things that I like. So I just went on a shopping spree on things that I like. You know what I'm saying? I got a trip to go to next week. I'm trying to get my shit together. I don't know what you come to do. Okay, now, um, this is uh, Peppermint Smoothing Pumice Foot Scrub. It's called Get Your Huffs Together. I'll be goddamn if I'm going to be down there in New Orleans and my goddamn huffs and shit is great. Fuck that. That's called get a uh, callus remover, a.k.a. get a credo. Okay, some 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 spots don't do credos no more. Kind of went against the law a little bit for the simple fact that, you know what I'm saying, when you're diabetic and things, you know, you got to mind how you food with them feet. You know what I'm saying? But if you ain't no diabetic and nothing else of the kind, baby, it don't make no sense for your feet to be all overgrown and your toenails is dark. It don't go together. So I'm going to ask that you get your huffs together. So when I go and get my pedicure and shit, I got some shit to take to her ass that I needed to get me all the way righteous right with. Ooh. Uh, yes, that peppermint. I love that. It just smells clean. Okay. And it's a scrub for your feet. Um, I got me uh, a, a new brush and I wanted a wooden brush, you know, to really stimulate my scalp and such. Um, yeah, so and y'all believe it or not, I I went on and bought this shit. They had this shit for ten dollars, okay? And so, um, but I know I wanted a good ass wooden brush, you know, and it's just good, you know, for your scalp. Okay. Um, now this one right here is Chamomile Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. Needed that, okay? This one here is another coconut hand cleansing gel. Because when I go places, 
You know how like you go places sometimes they run out of uh, uh, paper towels, they run out of, you know what I'm saying, soap and shit like that. And so I, I have a stickler about my hands. Y'all been watching my shit for a long time. No, I don't like shit on my hands. I don't give a fuck what's going on. Keep my hands clean. I don't like shit up under nails. As I be watching, I mean, I see everybody got their nails and shit done and shit dangling off of them and coins and motherfucking uh, uh, Sebastian crystals and shit. That's cool, but I can't fuck with your meatloaf, though. I'm just telling you. Can I just go and say it? Nigga, I'm cool on your meatloaf with them goddamn nails. I'm sorry, because that just tells me that it's all kind of E. coli, streptococcus, motherfucking uh, staff, all kinds of shit up under the motherfucker. You can't physically tell me. Now, unless you go into the bathroom, and every time you use the bathroom, you got a little manicure brush in your purse, and you hitting up under them nails and all through them cuticles and all that, but who does that? Because when I'm in the bathroom and after I done peed or whatever, I'm looking at them motherfuckers on how they washing their hands. Now, some people would just walk their ass up out of the bathroom. I done seen that quite a few times. Motherfuckers, they, they get their little hair and shit together and they straighten up and shit and get the titties and shit and you know get all that right there together and do all that and check that ass and make sure bop okay and then they out the door they done forgot all about washing their hands i have a huge stickler about my hands i buy um you know as you see i do buy things you know to constantly clean my hands with because and that is one reason why i don't wear acrylics and um uh, as a matter of fact what is this up under this motherfucker right now okay See, and you see my nails are just natural, okay? But I can't even imagine if these motherfuckers was all the way out here and the motherfuckers curled up like a claw. Like back in the day, back in the 80s when we was wearing them Levi, uh, uh, motherfucking 501 corduroy Levi with the name on the pocket in the back and shit. Or was that some kind of swap me shit? I don't know. Whatever. However. But we used to wear these pants. You know, with the wide motherfucking, uh, shoelaces and our Adidas and shit. But we used to wear these 501 Levi's. Okay, and take it to the swab meet, they'll throw your name and shit on the back booty part in the pocket and shit. Yeah. Maybe that was just some comedy shit, I don't know. Okay, this right here is by Urban Decay. I just got this in the mail. Um, I bought this on Hope Milk the other, uh, a couple weeks ago when I had showed you guys those new shoes that I got. And I think I made a video or whatever about them damn shoes. But, uh, but... Um, I ordered those shoes and this at the same time, but the shoes came first and I'm just getting this, but it's supposed to be a, it's called Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray, okay? Now, my motivation for getting this is not because I'm a serious makeup wearer, but when I do wear it, I want my shit to last. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to go to the bathroom and take my compact out and here, now here, I'm, you know, because I see it all the time. Jazz festivals and all kinds of shit. Them motherfuckers will open up their compact. Now here you sweating and all kinds of shit. You open up your compact, you take the, the puff, you rub it up in your shit, and you back reapplying makeup. Wait a minute, hold on, nigga. Ain't your shit sweaty? You got all kind of salt and shit all dripping off, off this right here and this, 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 this. And then now you taking your puff and rehitting your face with it. Nigga, I got a problem. I'm sorry. I know I'm cantankerous. Okay? I'm a Virgo. I'm a cantankerous motherfucker. I have a problem with germs. Not, not to say I'm a germaphobic because I shake hands, hug, and all that old type of shit. Kiss you on your neck. But... I don't like, you know, I just don't, I just, you know, when it comes down to me and my body, I just like cleanliness. It's just something about cleanliness. Now, not to say that my ass don't be on fire sometimes. Uh, yeah. If you've been sitting in the house all day and it's 106 outside, you know what I'm saying, uh, things gonna be a little sweaty, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part... Sweaty and stanky is two different things. Now, your shit can be sweaty and it can be wet and it can be marinating in its juices. But if your shit is clean, you're not going to have no shit that's going to make you get out of your own covers. When you laying in your bed and you all covered all up real tight and shit, put your head over the covers. Put your head over the covers, okay? Over the, put, put, I mean, put the covers over your head where you all the way up under the covers like a cocoon and take a deep breath. If some shit is on file status, it's called throw some water up and get up on it. That's all I can say. Because that means now we need peppermint soap. We need Caress and Came. We might need some Listerine too just, to, just in case if you might just decide to be in the beginning stages of gingivitis or whatever. You know, I just have a problem with all of that. 
And so, um, you know, I mean, I, I you know, I, you know, I like doing the hoochie coochie. You know what I'm saying? Let me just go and say it. And I know that my man ain't got no problem with wherever he go on this right here. And with that being said, I got to be 10A tight. I mean, I just got to be. And now that I've lost a little bit of weight, you know what I'm saying? The gap is a little bit more better. You know what I'm saying? Now, at first, it was just a little bitty, little bitty hoe. Now, you can really see, like, damn, is that that nigga behind you? Got that, that nigga go there, that, that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Where you can really see a motherfucker standing behind me because now, with my jeans on and my shit is a little bit tight and I got some draw on too. When I got some draw on, it's really like, God damn. Like now, can you be like, put some panties on just so walk around. Just put some panties on walk around. He just like to see me with some boy shorts on and I'll give him what he want. Ain't no problem with me. Fuck it. I put my little bra on and shit, my little boy shorts, had him up just a little tight, just a little camel toe, just a little bit. Fuck that nigga's head up. That nigga be in the corner like, man, look, check this out. You know, and then you just see him put his hand in his in his pants. And say, nigga, what you trying to do? 